just wondering, uh, Tom and Veronica are coming over tonight for a few drinks, and uh, I was wondering if you wanted to come by. Oh no, I'm busy. I'm working on a paper tonight. Sorry. Well, you know, no problem. Uh, I'm okay tomorrow, though. Good, 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 because, uh, you know, tomorrow morning I got a few errands to run, but uh, after that, uh, I've got a little surprise for you. Ooh, a surprise? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope you might like it, so... Uh... Okay, I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Love you. Bye. So this fat bastard Fred, right? <laughs> yeah. He's in the back of the van, right? Smoking a cigarette, right? And he's got these sleeping problems, right? He just passes out whenever. So he yeah. falls asleep in the back of the van. Next thing we know is we're all sitting on the patio there, beside the van. There's smoke coming out of all the windows. So he busts up in the back door of the van, right? And there's this guy, a fat bastard, just sleeping there on fire, okay? He's literally on fire. So we, so we grab the fire extinguishers from the back, we spray him off, right? This big white cloud, puffing smoke comes out, right? After, the, after it all settles, right? He's sleeping there. Like, he, nothing even happened, right? So Robbie boy goes up to him. He starts shaking him in the face. He's like, get up, Freddy, get up, get up. So Freddy gets up and this is what he says to him. He's like, there better be a damn good reason why I'm waking up to your face. <laughs> Those guys. Lovely. Excuse me for a second, guys. For sure. Hey, Tom, I want you to check this out. Check this out, Tom. Wow. Uh, Chuck, I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm straight. <laughs> That's for a clear idiot. I'm gonna ask her uh, tomorrow when I see her. Think she'll like it or what? I don't know, man. Um, that's something you gotta talk to Veronica about. Don't you say anything, okay? Because I know that Veronica's gonna freaking tell Claire before I get a chance, so you just keep your mouth shut, guy. Okay. Beautiful morning, isn't it, Chuck? Yeah, uh, can I help you? I'll tell you what, why don't you get up, go for a talk, and a walk, a walkie talkie. Uh, okay, well, uh, how about you excuse me for a minute and let me get dressed? Oh, don't worry, you're already dressed. Uh, Chuck.
out of my car! What? Get out of my car! Jeremy, get... No, die. Are you kidding me? Get out of my car! That, that's a little dangerous. Get out of my car! Have, have you seen... Oh, all right. It's not all as bad as it seems. You see, when young people die, their life has unfinished business. So, that said, I'm gonna give you one of two options. One, you can go back and have a second chance at your life, but there will be a risk that your life may be completely different. You may not meet the certain people, you may be worse, or you try to find closure in your life accept the fact that what has happened, has happened. Claire. Yeah. Hey. 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 I never thought I'd see you again. What are you talking about? Now don't worry about that. I just wanted to tell you one thing. What? I want you to have a good life, okay? 